Bo, thanks for coming to Toronto to chat about this fantastic film. And right off the bat, why eighth grade? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I really kind of wanted to talk about how I was feeling at the time that I wrote it, and still am feeling, which was just sort of anxious and um, on the internet, feeling like those things were connected. And then I realized through writing that I think I felt like an eighth grader, you know, and that. Um, yeah, I think I think a good way to talk about the current culture and the current moment we're in is through young people because I think they're experiencing it most purely. Mm -hmm. They kind of experience culture in the moment most purely because we're all bogged down with other stresses. Absolutely, and and tell me a little bit about the anxiety you feel because you know, look, you started with YouTube and then you do uh, stand up and you do so many different things, but I would think doing stand up comedy is is one of the toughest scariest things mm, around and yeah. i would think that your anxiety is almost about the same as somebody um, like Kayla kind of feels or in yeah, general I, an eighth grader would feel yeah i mean i you know i was having panic attacks backstage instead of in a bathroom before a pool party but it's yeah. the same thing I, i'm also just naturally wired for anxiety not just circumstantially because of stand up but that definitely didn't help yeah. um but yeah, it was just, I, I wanted to explore my feelings through someone else in different circumstances because I was trying to talk about it in my stand-up and it was just getting like snake eating its own tail. Yeah. And um, so it being a young person, it being a girl, I couldn't project my own past experience on it. I had to kind of just approach it humbly and as something that was new and fresh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Elsie, uh, your young lead who plays Kayla. What... Uh, uh, She's amazing. What mm. a find. Mm. Was it hard to find her? And how did you know that she was going to be able to carry a film like this? It was, you know, it was, she was the second, third person in. I called her in because I saw a video of her, but I saw every young actor in the world and she was the only one that every other young actor was pretending to be shy and she was the only one that was pretending to be confident in the way she played it. Um, you know, she played it as someone active, trying to... She played Kayla as someone who wanted to be someone else, yeah. and everyone else was just trying to play Kayla. Um, but I tested her seven or eight times. I never saw a kid more than once. I never saw another kid twice. Mm -hmm. But I needed to... Because the movie is so her. Yes. And, you know, it starts with a three-minute monologue, and then she doesn't speak for another ten minutes. And the movie's it's all on her. So we would do tests where it was just the monologues. We'd do tests where it was like a silent test. We'd do a test where it was scene work. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of put her through the ringer. And, and even I just tested her over and over again just to make sure she could deliver over and over again Absolutely. because she was going to have to show up for 27 days and carry a film on her shoulders. And she just did, and she would just really, really did. Yeah, it really does bring to light how um, kids, everybody, not just kids, all of us, are so dependent on our phones, on mm. our laptops, on our everything. Yeah. But what is so interesting that every little teeny little microcosm, every, it can really set somebody off. Mm. And it's quite scary, actually, you know, how mm. kids are reacting and relating to what is important on Instagram and YouTube and all yeah. that kind of stuff right now. How did that play in for you when you were writing this? Well, it means a lot to me, you know. I, I don't know, i just seen the internet sort of talked about in a sort of arm's length, big, sort of hovery, helicoptery kind of way where it's talked about as in terms of big social trends. And I was much more interested in a subjective portrayal of the internet as it, it as experienced by one person in the way it makes them feel in their tummy and in their heart mm -hmm. and not so much like its implications in a sort of like black mirror-esque type way. I love that show, but I'm just saying it feels like we only talk about the internet in these big sweeping either satirical or ironic or, or um, sort of dystopian ways and I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, what does it mean? And I think it means something very deep and subtle and emotional. Yeah, um, and also, also I think it's really important, which what I love is that um, the relationship with her dad and how it kind of evolved, and I don't mm. want to give away too much because there's such a pivotal, amazing scene. So happy you put that in there. Mm. But I think kids really need to understand that as parents, all we want to do is help you. Yeah, yeah. Can you just address that for a second? Yeah, I think yeah. both, I, I hope both parents and kids leave with a little more empathy for each other, you know? Um, and that was just my experience with my mother. I mean, like, my mother was uh, just wanting to help me all the time, and there's two sides to that, which is like, oh my God, like, please stop. Like, of give course. me give me something to rebel against. You know what I mean? I kind of want something to push back against. Um, but also, but, but also the point of being, like, 
I think a, a, a teenager, a young teen and a parent isn't for it to go well. It's for it to be fraught and to be able to, hopefully it's not explosive and destructive, yes. but part of it is being a punching bag so the kid can get their frustration out on you because they can't get it out in any, you know, there's a, the, the irony is that we are often cruelest to the people that we love because they're the only people we're comfortable we're the enough. the punching bags. Yeah. yeah that's and then you gotta, sometimes you just take it and like, you know, they'll appreciate it down the line. <laughs> oh boy, can I relate to yeah, that. Well, yeah. I just, thank you for this. It's such a wonderful film. You have such a great future as a filmmaker along with everything else that oh, you do. I really do, appreciate it. What a pleasure to meet you and uh, talk to you. Thank you. You, you as well. Thank you.